Welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you all with me today. Today we are banging out some Jam Raiders. I shot a video about this the other day. You guys have probably already seen it. The other day I had a problem. I was trying to clear the drone coordinators away. And it was being real problematic because there were people there hunting the drone coordinators. Which kept causing them to respawn. So the cool thing about these Jam Raiders though is they don't attack they don't do anything they just kind of float here i call them voltorbs they remind me of voltorb the pokemon because it just looks like a giant floating pokeball and this would be great for a new player just getting started why even mess with puny creatures when you can just come bang these out no fapping needed no armor needed you're just working on getting some codex and working on getting your skills up they literally do not attack now, here's the problem, like I said the other day, if you kill too many of these things, you will spawn a level 63 Jam Raider, and that bad boy does attack. That bad boy has 4400 HP, level 63, and he attacks and he hits like a tank. I know that because he took me out like 16 times earlier. I am actually here with Solomon. Solomon's over there. He's hunting some second entity. And he was kind enough to be able to clear out the drone coordinators after people stopped hunting them finally. And luckily he has his RX armor and whenever that level 63 just kept squishing me, he took care of it for me. So big, big thanks to Solomon. Big shout out to him. Solomon's always a great guy. He's always been super solid. Uh, not really necessarily friends with the guy, but I can honestly say every time I ran into him, he's been super polite, super handy. And if he's dealing with a lower level player, which is practically everybody in game except for Messi, he's always happy to lend a helping hand if he needs to. So, big, big thanks to Solomon. So, am I going to be banging out all 26 codex levels for Jam Raider? No, absolutely not. You know, I'll probably stop at rank 8, rank 9, something like that, maybe 10. My biggest thing is. If these can get me just a couple of levels to get me a, an extra attribute through Meta Codex, cool. The rewards for these Jam Raider Codex levels are not going to be very large at all. They're going to be extremely small, just because it's such a low cost to kill. These things only have 40 HP, so I'm literally two-shotting them. Which, with the weapon that I have, two shots is about perfect for these guys. And that's why it would be so perfect for a low-level player or a new player just needing to get some amount of codex to get their skills up. Just needing to get some amount of weapon skills. Somebody who just needs to cycle some ped to get skills in game at all. In fact, Solomon had an Ancient Red Scorpion Tier 4 that he was using on these things earlier. Because he was working on his codex just to get a couple of levels banged out. Just to get some attributes through Meta Codex as well. So now that I've actually had an opportunity to shoot these things uninterrupted... I wanted to go ahead and take that moment and get it on video for you guys to see what it looks like just banging these things out. Just not having to deal with the drone coordinators, not having to deal with anything else getting in the way. And just to see it really is just like shooting Voltorbs out of the sky. They're literally just satellites that fall to the ground. They don't attack. They don't do anything. And this goes back to a point I made in a video. I, I made a video about Jam Raiders first. And then I made a video about Foul where I said the opposite. So there are a lot of mobs like Jam Raider in game that people don't even know exist. Now, I had no idea that Jam Raider existed. I also had no idea that they literally did not attack. And I had no idea that if you took down enough of them, you would spawn a level 63 that does attack. But just because they're a thing doesn't mean I should bang out all 26 levels of Jam Raider. Because I am never, ever, ever in my life going to repeat level 26 on Jam Raider. It's just not going to happen. This is something that's super easy to cycle. I'm getting a lot of shrapnel. I'm getting some Belkar, which I actually will sell for a little bit of markup. But there's not really the loot that I want in the loot pool for Jam Raider. There's not something that's just going to make me a ton of money. So this isn't something that's worth cycling thousands and thousands of pet on. And outside of the event... For the 20th anniversary there's just not going to be a big enough spawn of them to be able to repeat level 26 over and over and over again so really this is good for about the first 15 levels 10 levels something like that depending on how easily these levels go 
Remember, I get a meta codex attribute level every five regular codex levels. So if I can bang out 10 of the Jam Raider levels, I'm doing great. I've got two attribute levels. If I can get through 15, even better. If I can get through 20 with the Jam Raiders and do it very, very easily with very, very little to no cost, then I'm doing magnificent because I'm getting a whole lot of attribute rewards through Meta Codex. It's not necessarily the quote-unquote Codex rewards themselves from the Jam Raider that I'm after, if that makes sense. I'm using the Jam Raider Codex to get my Meta Codex up is essentially what I'm doing with this. Now, that is what any mid-level player would be using this for. Obviously, a guy like Solomon, he doesn't need the 0 0.2 ped codex reward for Jam Raider. He just doesn't. However, he very possibly could use some more meta codex. So banging out five levels of Jam Raiders is a pretty easy way for him to do that. Like I said in yesterday's video about Foul, I think most players are much, much, much better served focusing on two, maybe three creatures that they hunt religiously that have good loot pools with loot that they're after that they find fun to hunt, that they have the proper setup to hunt, that they can get to rank 26 and then keep going and repeat rank 26, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 times. I think for your average player, that is going to be a far superior way to play. So I can't necessarily tell people, I think it's a great idea for you to come to Atlas Haven and do 26 ranks of Codex on Jam Raider and then 26 ranks of Codex on Drone Coordinator, and then 26 ranks of Codex on Second Entity. I just don't think that's going to be the appropriate way for most people to play. I don't think it's going to be the appropriate way for virtually anybody to play. However, if you're trying to get some extra Meta Codex, and you're trying to get some of those skills up, like I said, there's all kinds of good reasons to bang out at least the first five levels of Jam Raider pretty easily, pretty quickly. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video while I was able to do this uninterrupted. As you guys can see, I've just been shooting, shooting, shooting with very little to no interruption. That being said, I really don't have anything super particular to add to today's video. I just don't. Entropia is an interesting game because people will spend so much time trying to figure it out. And people do this with mini games. They essentially overanalyze. I mean, Blackjack, we've known for, you know, 40 years now that there's a correct move and an incorrect move for virtually every hand you could have. Yet people won't spend the time to memorize it. And much in the same vein, most people who play Entropia, I think the average person who starts playing, they're more interested in playing Entropia than they are in trying to figure out how to do so you know, with a little bit of an edge, with just a little bit of common sense to try and just make the game work in their favor just a hair. And I think that's why we see people that get so mad that their first day in game, they blow through all their ammo, all their money, and then they have nothing and then they're stuck and then they just get frustrated and quit. The game is designed for most people to get burned to Icarus. There is a reason that I would say Mind Arc knows most players aren't going to get past Icarus. Icarus is essentially the training grounds. There's a reason that they call the instance at Icarus the gauntlet. Icarus is, in a real sense, the gauntlet. If you can make it past Camp Icarus, then you're probably going to stay in game for a while. If you can't make it past Camp Icarus, you're probably already done, right? So I, I just wanted to get the little Voltorbs on video for you guys. I really don't want to spawn that level 63. I'm only going to bang out... Probably another two levels. I don't see myself doing this for another seven levels. I don't see myself going all the way to level up. And I got the level 63. Here he is. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, no. That's a drone coordinator. Never mind. Um, I don't see myself doing this for, you know, seven more levels. I would like to get to rank 10 and at least get through rank 10 to get that extra little attribute from the Meta Codex. But I just don't see myself doing this for the next five days it doesn't interest me that much and it's got to be fun for me to do there's a lot of stuff in game that you can do but if it's not fun why do it right so i at least want to get this so you guys could see what the jam raiders look like i really don't have anything super special to add to that 
I know we've got a lot going on with the twin event. I know there's a lot going on with deeds at the moment. A lot of people are asking me about land plots and that whole thing, which I've got to make a video over. I've got some videos planned for space. Also, guys, keep in mind that work keeps screwing me up too because the guy that works this shift with me keeps taking vacation on me. So like last week, I worked nine days in a row and then I had one day off and then I worked like six more days in a row and then I had this weekend off. And now when I go back tomorrow, I'm going to be working like 12 days in a row because he just keeps leaving. So we're screwing with me too. That's why I keep telling you guys to email me. So for the moment, if you guys need me, email me at sbraggs62 at gmail.com. That's S-B-R-A-G-G-S 62 at gmail.com. And holler at me there. That's going to be the best way to get a hold of me. Also, keep in mind, I'm dealing with a lot in real life. I have broken down and told a couple of people in game via email about what's going on and needless to say when I tell them they realize right away why it is that I can't just put it out in YouTube videos to let you guys know a lot of the legalities that go into it because of the legalities because of the stuff that I've been dealing with because of everything that that's going on I just can't and I'm sorry about that. But needless to say, it's not good. And that's taking a toll on me too. So for now, I'm just going to leave it there. Sip, sip, smack, smack. You all know the rest. Head over to earnped.com because when you earn, we earn. That is by far the best way you guys can help support us. And be sure and hit that subscribe button, that bell icon, so that you know whenever we post new content. And hit the like button on every single video because whenever you guys do that, it gets these videos in front of other people who play real cash economy games. It gets these videos in front of other people who are interested in sci-fi MMOs and who are interested in games similar to Entropia. These videos are a lot of people's very first time ever being exposed to Entropia Universe. And whenever you hit that subscribe button, whenever you hit that like button, it does more than just help us. It helps you guys too. It helps grow the economy it helps grow the community, and it helps grow the game. And hopefully, that's going to keep Entropy around for not another 20 years, but another 20,000 years. Hopefully, there will be a 20,000th birthday event for Entropia someday, and hopefully they'll be looking back on everything we did here and now and saying, wow, if only it was that easy then. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Sip, sip, smack, smack. You all know the rest. Take care, Stevies.